Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how you can set up DDNS on PFSense using Cloudflare. Now DDNS stands for Dynamic DNS, and what it does is it tracks your external IP address. So if for whatever reason you have a static external IP address, DDNS isn't going to do much for you. However, the majority of people have dynamic IP addresses, and what that means is that periodically they will change. So when you use this DDNS host name, you are ensuring that you're connecting to your external IP address always. So this is gonna be my first video on PFSense and I intend on creating more. So if you're interested in content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And before we get started, I just wanna say that I have written instructions for everything in the description of the video. So the first thing that you have to do is log into Cloudflare and select DNS. From there, we're gonna create a record. So you can select add record, and then you can leave the type as A, and in the name section, you're gonna enter in how you'd like to access this. So this is gonna be the subdomain portion. So for me, I'm going to enter DDNS, but you can put in whatever you want here. If you want it to just be your domain, you're gonna put the at symbol here. Now in the IPv4 field, we're gonna enter this as 1.1.1.1, and that is Cloudflare's DNS server. So at a later time, after we configure this in PFSense, that IP address will get updated with your external IP address of your local network. So it doesn't really matter what you set it as. You can set it as whatever you want, but it's important to understand that that's the field that will get updated by PFSense whenever your external IP address changes. So the last thing you're gonna change in here is the proxy status to DNS only. And in PFSense later, we're gonna change this in case you do wanna proxy your traffic through Cloudflare. From here, you can save your record and the DNS portion will be fully set up. So from here, we have to get our global API key. And I wanna give the disclaimer that as of right now, the global API key is needed. However, there is a possibility that in the future, you will be able to create a custom token that only has permission to the DNS portion because that's really all PFSense needs. However, unfortunately, at this point, it doesn't work. So it's either using the global API key or not using it and it not working. So you'll have to be inside of the My Profile and API Token section. However, when you're watching this video, if you do want to try out creating a custom token to see if it works, you can select that Create Token button and then you can select the Edit Zone DNS template. And from there, you're only going to have to set it to include the zone that you want it to be. So that's going to be whatever domain you have set up. From here, it's gonna create a token, and what you'll be able to do is copy that, and you can use it inside of PFSense. Now, I wanna be clear that at this point, this functionality is not working. However, whenever you get to this video, there's a chance that it is working, and this is just using the least privilege model. So you're giving PFSense permission to the DNS section only, which is all it really needs access to. Using the global API key kind of gives access to everything. So keep that in mind, but like I said, at this point, we have to use the global API key. So under the API key section, you're gonna see the global API key. And from there, you can view it and enter in your password to get the key. Now you have to treat this like a password because it is a password. It has access to just about everything on your Cloudflare account. So you're gonna be utilizing this as the password inside of PFSense, but you wanna try and use this as little as you can. So now that you have your API key, you can head over to PFSense and you can select Dynamic DNS under Services, and then you can select Add. So you're gonna have to change the service type to Cloudflare, and then you can populate the host name section with your subdomain, and then you're gonna have to populate the domain name as well. In the username field, you're gonna set that as your Cloudflare username, and then paste that API token that we retrieved a little earlier in the password field. Finally, you can set a description and you can save this. Now, the one thing I wanna point out here is that the uh, proxy service, if you'd like to use Cloudflare's proxy service, which means that Cloudflare's IP address would be returned if anyone requested it rather than your individual IP address, your external IP address of your local network, um, you can enable that here. Now, those are the only true settings that you have to actually set up. Everything inside of PFSense for the most part is pretty straightforward and it's what you'd expect. From here, after you save everything, you're gonna see that your cached IP address is gonna change inside of PFSense, and it's gonna be your external IP address. Now, that's assuming that you have a green check mark and everything is working as expected. If it did change, you can head over to Cloudflare, and in that IPv4 field that we had set as Cloudflare's DNS server of 1.1.1.1, 1 
That will now show your external IP address. Unfortunately, I have to blur it out, but mine match up and yours should as well. So at this point, whenever you request that subdomain and domain, whatever you set up, in my case, it is ddns.wondertech.xyz, it will return my external IP address from my local network. And at that point, I can utilize this for other services. So I have a future video coming out on how you can set up a VPN inside of PFSense. And I utilize that in the setup because it ensures that I'm always accessing my local network. So if this video helped you guys out, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like content like this and like to see more PFSense videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.